Joining me today is Michael Martinetti out of uh, New Jersey. Out of an audience of more than 250,000 agents nationwide, Michael has been selected to represent Broker Agent Advisor as this month's Broker Agent of the Month for the state of New Jersey. And Michael, this one's a treat for me. Uh, I've had a, a privilege and the honor of getting to know you a little bit, and I'm excited for your community and the people in the real estate industry to get to know you a little bit. Um, the industry's better for having you. I want to congratulate you on the recognition, and I appreciate you joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm greatly appreciative of the recognition. I'm honored uh, to be a, you know, selected to, to do this, um, so I'm really excited to be here as well. Cool. Look, you, you've earned it, my man. You're, you're the perfect fit, and so ideally what I'd like is for people that get a chance to watch this video to get a sense for who you are and maybe a little bit about why you were selected, and I thought we'd just explore a couple of questions together, and I want to start with the topic of real estate. Like, you could do anything. Um, why realtor? How'd you get started in this business? Yeah, so it's, it's funny. So um, when I was in college, I was going to study to be a phys ed and health teacher. And uh, my best friend at the time, his wife's cousin uh, was on the beach. I was on the beach with them. And we rented a shore house down the shore every year because we had summers off. And when I was there, he was telling me about a two family that he owns and how he's making $1,200 a month in rent. And so I'm just listening and all these different ideas are popping into my head. So at the time I was 23, I went home. I told my mom, I said, mom, I want to buy a two family. So she took it better than I thought. And um, so she's like, okay, great. Let's, so let's do it. So September 29th, three months later, I bought my first two family. Uh, my second two family I purchased when I was 26. That was also my fourth year of teaching. So I was at a pivotal point because I was either going to go to school the following year and get tenured. Um, have job security benefits, you know, pension, all that good stuff for the rest of my life. Or I was going to uh, take a risk, quit my job and give real estate a whirl. So clearly five years ago, I did quit before I got tenured. Uh, I got licensed December, 2016. So it's been a, a little bit over five years that I've been doing this. And uh, here I am. It's, it's amazing because my whole goal was to, to just make six figures. That was truly my goal. Uh, I was never to, to be in a position that I'm in now, never to be a team leader. It was really just to try to benefit my own, you know, life income based off of an income. Um, and it just kind of developed into this naturally. And you know, I'm, I'm extremely blessed to, to have the people I have in my life around me and support me with this because, you know, it's, it's very humbling. It's, it's a really interesting business, Michael. A lot of people from the outside looking in think it's really easy and everybody makes a ton of money. And everybody lives this posh lifestyle. And the reality is it's a grind. Like most people will never fully appreciate that risk you took. But the reality, that, like, the truth of it is nine out of 10 agents that get their license don't complete their second year. Like this is a brutal business. And yeah. yet here you are not necessarily fully aware of what you were getting into, um, but kind of figuring it out and, and, and having the natural appeal of the value of, of investing in real estate, right? It's just a great asset that we all have available to us here as citizens in the U.S., um, talk to me a little bit about what you've learned. Like, what do you find most rewarding about this business now that you know what it is and what it isn't and you're finding success in it? Yeah. I mean, it, there's, there's a lot of rewarding factors, right? So it, it's, I, I think one of the biggest services that we do is no one really educates you on how, it, you know, intelligent it is to invest in property and how lucrative it is and how it's really not even that difficult. You know, if you have a good credit score and you make a decent income and you're able to save money and, and allocate that for down payment, you could really, 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 you know, make a great living. I mean, I was able to buy two houses off a teacher salary. So it right. wasn't, I was rolling in the riches, but I was living home. I saved my money. You know, I, I bartended. I, I constantly was able to, to just save money. And um, that really was the first rewarding thing for me. But now it's awesome. I mean, I'm able to help investors become investors. I'm able to help people purchase their first home or upgrade from the first home to their second home. Um, I'm able to help people flip property, uh, contractors do new construction. So, I mean, there's so many different avenues that I'm able to, to really help the client. And then on the back end of my business, you know, I have 15 agents that, that work with me, um, that we all buy bought in on one another. And then, you know, I'm able to provide jobs to people on the back end, and then they're able to help the client's experience and help us operate smoothly. Um, so it's really like a well-oiled machine that, just kind of naturally developed itself. And it's, it's completely rewarding. I mean, the majority of the people in this country, their biggest prized possession is, is a home. And when they select you to represent, whether it's purchasing or selling, um, 
you know, it's a big deal. And, and a lot of people just say, oh, it's just a realtor or you're just a realtor. I mean, they just don't get it. You know, selecting the right realtor could be the difference of a $50,000 profit or loss for you. You know, if you have somebody that's at the top of their level performing at the top, you know, of the business, that's, that's a huge amount of money. And I, the, the analogy I always use to people is if you're going to get divorced, you're going to get the cheapest divorce attorney you can find. Or you're going to find the one with the best reviews and the most success. And when you pitch it like that, it kind of makes people open their mind up to things. So it's, uh, it, it, I love what I do. I genuinely do. There's not one time I'm ever like, oh, I got to go to work. It's, it's the most rewarding thing in the world. You know, words can't describe it until you're just in it and you're doing it and you're breathing it and you're passionate about it. And that's, that's what I am. That's, that's what motivates me. And what people should, I hope, appreciate is you don't grow from where you started as a, a small time investor, right? To a guy that's leading 15 agents and is immersed in this industry across all avenues in your market without treating the customer well. Like it just doesn't happen. You have to, you have to put the customer interests first and you have to create a world where people out there are talking about you. And, and obviously I'm not surprised having gotten to know you that that's what's happened for you. But um, those things that you just described are, are not. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's, it's just as important for, for those people, you know, for the clients, but as well as like our staff and our agents, we all really do get, get, we, we really do love working with one another. And we, we really are just so appreciative to, have everyone's support and it makes the work environment better. And then ultimately the client experience is, is even better. That's right. I, um, I did some digging and I found a testimonial of yours online and I thought this was a good opportunity to share how someone that's gone through that process with you as a client would describe it. <laughs> it said Michael and his team were amazing and amazing is in all caps. Michael took the time to understand my needs and had the patience to work with me through the entire process. His team walks you through every step along the way Michael's always very responsive and gets the job done fast. Again, in all, all caps, I'd highly recommend him for any of your real estate needs. I'm so happy to have him to help me navigate this process and we're beyond happy in our new home, right? And so this is the outcome of what the, the, the environment you just described that you've contributed to creating and you have lots of those online and congrats, congratulations on the kind words. Like that's, yeah, that's no, what I mean, this is all about. That's what we do it for, you know? I mean, that's when, when people take the time to write the review, even though it's, you know, a one or two minute process, it just, it, it brings it full circle for me because, you know, people don't realize answering my phone all day, every night, as responsive as I am. Like I have two small children under two. So when, when people realize like, you know, this guy really did go, go to war for me, whether it was on the list side or the buy side, you know, that's, that's ultimately what we do. And I'm not driven by money. I'm driven by success. You know, for me, I just want to be the best version of a real estate agent that I possibly can be. Um, maybe it's from playing sports my entire life. That's something that just motivates me. Uh, but I feel like those that motivation is not money will also give you more success in this business because, you know, it's, it's, it's a very personal, it's, it, it, when I'm done with the client, I feel like we have a legit relationship beyond just the transaction, right? Cause it's yeah. genuine and it, it just kind of forms that way. Obviously not every single transaction is like that. Uh, but a lot of them turn into that for me. And I, I talked to a lot of my clients beyond the transaction, which is great. And you network and. I use some of my clients for whatever they specialize in. So it's just overall a win-win for everyone. Yeah, that's great. And talk to me about Union County, uh, New Jersey. You could do this anywhere. You literally could live anywhere and sell real estate. What makes Union County such a cool place to live, work, and play? Yeah, for me, I I'm, I'm really like a homegrown boy. I lived in Union, uh, which is in Union County for pretty much 30 years, of my 31 years of life. Um, I now live in Clark. Uh, we do majority of our business in Union County. We actually focus on half the county. Uh, my philosophy is I want to just dominate a couple of the towns that I are near and dear to me and that I, I'm constantly in and constantly do business in and that we're donating to and really helping the community. And if we can just get a good market share on those towns and give back to those people, uh, that's really self-gratifying for me. That's really what we're focused on. We, I mean, we, we do service nine or 10 counties and about 40 of our business are in other counties, but uh, that's pretty much something that I always wanted to do. I, I really want to just stay true to where I came from because the support that the community has given me, if it wasn't for them, there'd be no way I'd be on this Zoom call with you or in the position that I'm in now. Um, so, you know, it's it's just something that for me, I've always had my, my business model more or less similar in, in the sense of, of staying in that location. I think it serves you well. You have a lot of passion for 
you know, the, the upbringing that's contributed to creating you, right? And the version of you that sits there and why not leverage that to give back to those those individuals in that community that's helped create it and, and help everybody win. It makes perfect sense. Without the client, I don't exist. You know, they hire me, I don't hire them. That's right. Yeah, I mean, that that applies broadly for everybody, right? If we don't take good care well, of the client, then- You're a business owner, yeah. Yeah. So uh, before we go, uh, and we're, we're about to wrap it up, but I want to put you on the hot seat for a second. You know, five, six years of having success in this business, and you now have a really clear definition of what this business is and what it isn't and how you'll be successful and how you'll successfully serve others. If you were to give one piece of advice to appear in this business, what would that piece of advice be? Uh, I would say follow-up is probably the most important part of this business. Uh, if you aren't extremely organized and you do not have good follow-up tactics, uh, a lot of the deals that, that I get take months and months of me just following up and trying to be there and create value and answer questions that they have. Because a lot of times sellers aren't ready to sell right away. And a lot of times buyers have no idea where to even start. You know, so following up, having the right lenders, having the right home inspector, having the right attorney, having the right title company, having the right people in place to set up the clients that do give you the chance to work with them to make sure that their experience is the best is the most important thing. You know, organization is, is just as important. Uh, and I feel like if, if you don't have a way to, to stay organized and to successfully follow up, um, that you will definitely struggle in this business. And the other thing is, is you have to always be ready to pivot. You know, I've only been in the business for a little over five years now, and I've pivoted at least three or four times based on the market. So if you're not constantly trying to learn and constantly keeping up with what's working, what's not, what and where the market is, somebody could just go right by you and you know it's it's a quick fast moving business and if you can't keep up somebody's going to pass you or somebody's going to do it better so i would say those are probably the best tips of advice that i can give someone uh, especially like a newer agent i love it look i i really resonate strongly with the mindset you have for continuous improvement i i, I think it's one of life's energy supplies and it's been an absolute treat to get to know you a little bit and it's a privilege to share this moment with you and help you be seen for your contribution to this industry I just want to offer congratulations one more time on the recognition and I wish you nothing but massive success in the rest of your journey. Yeah, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, like I said, I, it, it's very, very rewarding to, to have the opportunity and to, to receive this award. And uh, I'm extremely grateful and, and thankful that you guys uh, were able to, to take me into consideration. So thank you as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Take care.